In today's video, we are going to talk about reference. Previously on Sculptor Channel, I shared with you part of the process I went through to sculpt Madara Uchiha. So, in this video I want to talk about the initial planning process of this sculpture so that you can also apply this process to your sculpture workflow. If you want to see how I sculpt Madara Uchiha, I'll leave you the link in the description below. Now, let's talk about where to start searching for reference. Reference helps you find inspiration and also provides you with the opportunity to progressively improve your artworks. ArtStation is one of my favorite sources of inspiration, not only because you can find spectacular artworks by very talented artists, but you can also find post packs with anatomical reference that will help you understand the human body. Obviously, Pinterest and Google also helps a lot to find the reference you need. Art books are also important, so in the description of this video you will find a list of books that I recommend. Most artists like the opportunity to have a live model, however, there are some apps that allow you to have a 3D model that you can pose the way you want. Finally, you can find this body kun and body chan action figures. These figures can be posed any way you want. You can find them on Amazon. I left you the link in the description below. After collecting and printing the reference, we now enter the sketching phase. Before making a sculpture, I always recommend drawing the character we want to sculpt because this helps us understand the character and allow us to have a more concrete idea of what we want to do. After having a clean idea, we began to draw the character from the front view. This will help us determine the measurement that our sculpture will have, and will help us create the armature. Now we are ready to sculpt. Well, I hope you like this video. If you like it, please subscribe, share, and activate the bell so you don't miss my next videos. Thanks for watching.